On the grounds of the Versailles is Marie Antoinette's residence. This she considered her farmhouse, but as you can see, it's quite a luxurious farmhouse. And the gardens are spectacular as well. Beautiful flowers. Now, why don't you scan over there so you can see the house. Beautiful. Hey, this is Robert Bornstein from Robert's Tropical Paradise Garden. And here you're going to see Marie Antoinette's home. And she liked it to look like a little farmhouse. But as you see, there's many little houses on this property. And the roofs are often uh, straw roofs. And there's a lot of vegetables growing. This is at the opposite end of Versailles. And it's just charming. There's many little houses here. Each one more charming than the next. Hear the ducks? For those of you who love roses, at Marie Antoinette's Cottage Gardens, there's magnificent roses here. Gotta take time and to smell them. In the back of each house is a gate, and then you can see what's growing. Here there are a whole bunch of tomatoes, and on the other side, there was something on that bed, but it's finished. And then in the back are some squash. So each little house has a wonderful little vegetable garden in the back. How about some French grapes for some real French wine? Wouldn't that be a treat? This is actually a real farm with a lot of farm animals. Behind me you can see some goats and other animals too. This is really amazing. Here's some lamb feasting on the grass. Boy, I sure don't see this in Fort Lauderdale. 